you recently published an article about um, happy talk versus hard talk, the willingness to ask tough questions. And can you just share a little bit about kind of the thesis and kind of what, what was the trigger point for that article and you know why perhaps many founders avoid hard talk? What are the intrinsic reasons that perhaps why for happy talk? I guess I guess the trigger is you know so so happy talk is it's um, I think it's probably the number one killer of startups because you know and I, I guess the 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 trigger for the blog post was um, I mean I have these meetings with founders all the time where the meeting starts off and everything is wonderful and they tell you how great they're doing and by the end of the meeting you realize that actually there's only three months of runway left and they're about to run out of money why you know and I've just had so many of those meetings where I'm just like there there must be something you know that that, that there's something there, there's like a deeper psychology to this and I think it's because founders have to be optimistic you know the odds are so stacked against you as a founder that you have to be optimistic to 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 create a, a startup and and you know you you encounter so much rejection you know in the early days of a startup whether it's you know prospects telling you no or employees who you know or would be employees who 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 don't want to come work for you or or you know investors who say no there's just so much rejection that a um, an entrepreneur i think does have to be fundamentally wired for optimism but if that wiring kind of locks them into this happy talk mode and they can't and they kind of lose um, the ability to see ground truth, the, the reality of their situation, that's where it becomes a huge problem. And so I think the best entrepreneurs are able to maintain this dual state where they're very optimistic about the vision of the company and where it's going and and that it will ultimately prevail, but they have tremendous clarity about the day-to-day challenges and what they need to do right now and, and the existential risks, and they work to systematically knock off those risks. 